Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as you can see by the title of this video, today I'm going to be going over my morning skincare routine. I've actually been really excited to film this video today. I am in love with skincare at the moment and I really enjoyed filming my nighttime skincare routine, which went up on my channel I think two weeks ago now. Now if you did happen to watch my nighttime skincare routine, you would have seen that my skin used to look like this. It was very red very dry she's not looking her best she isn't her best self my eczema patches were there it was just really dry and painful since doing my skincare routine following this routine and also my nighttime routine my skin now looks like this it's so much healthier it feels so soft and it looks so glowy and healthy and i'm just so incredibly happy with the way my skin is right now now this routine is for more dry sensitive and eczema prone skin so if you do have that skin type and you want to see what kind of products i use then keep watching because i will go over a full list of all of the products i use in a moment so i am actually pretty new to skincare so i can't recommend everything that's definitely going to work for your skin this is just products that i've used that have worked for me personally so unlike my nighttime routine which is 10 steps long this routine is nine steps long but two steps in this routine i only do on weekends so it's technically seven steps long but then it's nine steps on the weekend if that makes sense so anyway let's actually get into the products i use before i start rambling on about skincare so i always stop always start now i always start my morning routine by washing my face with a cleanser to remove all of the excess products that i used the night before and i use the hydrating cleanser by cerave so this cleanser is amazing for dry and sensitive skin it has really simple ingredients and it also includes ceramides and hyaluronic acid which are amazing if you have dry skin i am actually quite picky when it comes to cleansers i've tried a few different ones before and each one of them just made my skin feel really tight and really dry after i wash my face but i've never had the problem with this one this makes my face feel really nice and soft and moisturized but also really clean so to apply it my cleanser I apply one pump of this to damp skin and I gently massage it onto my face for about 20 to 30 seconds and then I rinse it off with some warm water so the next thing I use in my skincare routine is my toner and I use the Pyung Pyung Kang Yule toner which is a Korean essence toner. No idea if I'm saying that correctly so I'm sorry if I am saying that wrong. I am absolutely obsessed with this toner. It is literally the best toner that I've ever tried. I used to actually think that toner wasn't made for like dry and sensitive skin and if you had that skin type then you shouldn't be using a toner because every single toner that I use and I did try a, a few different types made my skin feel really tight, really dry and it made my eczema flare up on my face especially like around my eyes and on my cheek area because that's where I get it quite badly but i used this one because it was recommended for dry and sensitive skin and honestly this one makes my skin feel so incredibly soft it makes it feel really glowy really hydrated i highly highly recommend this if you have dry and sensitive skin and you're struggling to find a toner that works i recommend giving this one a try because it is an absolute godsend i'm absolutely in love with it so to apply this i use a small cotton pad and i add a generous amount of the toner and then i gently wipe it over my face and neck avoiding my eye area so something that I've been using in my routine for quite a long time and something that you've most likely already heard about is the Hyaluronic Acid by The Ordinary. I have seen so many people using this in their skincare routines. It is pretty much a skincare staple for me now and I can't really go a day without wanting to use this on my face. So if you don't know what this is, it is basically a serum that reduces fine lines and wrinkles on your skin, reduces redness and irritation as well as eczema and it really hydrates and adds moisture into your skin. So it's pretty much a must have for anyone that has really dry red or eczema prone skin so i always apply this straight after using my toner while my skin is still a little bit damp and that is because hyaluronic acid draws moisture from the environment into your skin so it's best to apply it when your skin is still slightly damp i apply a few drops of this to my face and neck and gently rub it into my skin oh i am sweating it is hot in this room Oh, I can't have my window open when I film, but it is, the, it is a hot day today and I can't have my fan on. My fan is right next to me, but it, it's too loud to have on in the background, so I'm dying. It's so hot today. I hope everyone is staying nice and cool in this weather because it is crazy. <laughs> so whilst my skin is still drying with the hyaluronic acid on, I like to go straight in with my Snail Mucin Essence by Cosrix. Kos Cosrix? I'm, I still don't know if I'm saying that right. I have no idea. Sorry if I am. I love this stuff so much. It's probably my favourite part of my entire skincare routine. I always look forward to putting this on because I love the way it feels on my skin. But this essence soothes breakouts, restores elastic 
elasticity in the skin, hydrates the skin, and it also has anti-aging benefits as well. And this is another product that has really simple ingredients, and it's made from 96% snail mucin which sounds really disgusting like you're putting snail slime on your face because it pretty much is that and it does sort of like stick it's very sticky just like it is snail slime but it honestly feels so incredible on your skin it's so hydrating and it makes my skin feel so healthy and glowy you can feel it working when it's on my skin i can't describe it just try it out if you if you're interested because it's so good so i usually use about three pumps of this two for my face and then one for my neck and i gently rub it into my skin and then i wait five minutes to let all of the other products sink in properly. It's too hot. I'm gonna die. So once my time has gone off, I move on to my next skincare product, which is one of the products I only use on the weekend as sort of like a skincare Sunday pamper day thing. And that is the Snail Slime Hydro Hy Hydrogel Eye Patches by Corsrix. And I've only just realized how much snail slime I put on my face. Quite a lot, I guess. Anyway, <laughs> and something I absolutely love about these is that oh, I almost dropped them. They come with their own little mini tweezers. Look how cute they are. I just thought that was really cute and also like really hygienic as well when you're picking up the eye patches. They are calming eye patches and it says that they have 20,400 ppm of snail secretion. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> but it basically depuffs plumps and brightens your under eye area. Something I absolutely love doing with these, which is also a tip on the website I bought them from, is popping them in the fridge the night before I use them. So when I put them on my face the next morning, they, it just feels so soothing and cooling on my skin, especially in the summer. It just feels really nice. It also helps to reduce the puffiness around my eyes. So to use these, I take them out of the fridge and I use the little tweezers to take out the large eye patches. It is quite fiddly to apply them to your face, but I pop them under my eyes and then I use the mini patches that it comes with and pop them above my eyebrows. I then leave them on for 30 minutes to absorb into my skin. I have no idea why you're supposed to apply the little patches above your eyebrows. I've just, I've, I've just been doing it because it says it in the picture. Like it shows a picture of you having them like above your eyes and stuff. She also puts it like on a, like makes a little moustache out of it. Which is pretty cool I guess. If you have like patches of like eczema or dry skin on your face you could put them there instead. Anyway, after I take off the eye patches, I like to give my under eyes a little bit of a massage and I use this white jade roller, like face roller. It helps to decrease puffiness and red circles under your eyes as well as increasing blood flow around your eyes. So I gently massage the rest of the essence from the eye patches into my eye area, making sure that I'm not pulling or tugging at my skin because the area around your eyes is so sensitive and it can wrinkle really easily. <laughs> dropped my face roller on the floor. So the next thing I apply in my skincare routine is my eye cream and in the morning I use the eye repair cream by CeraVe and obviously like all of my other CeraVe products that I use in my routine it has very simple ingredients and is perfect for dry skin. So I apply a small amount of the cream to my finger and gently pat this into my eye area again making sure that I'm not pulling at my skin. Okay, so I'm now on the final two products on my skincare routine and the first one is my moisturiser and I use the Moisturising Lotion by CeraVe and I am really picky when it comes to moisturisers. This one is a very, it's very light and it dries really quickly on the skin. That is something that's really important to me because I wear glasses all day, every single day and nothing irritates me more than when my glasses start sliding down my nose because I have a thick moisturiser on. Does anyone else get that? I can't stand it. But this one dries really quickly and sinks into my skin really nicely. I apply a generous amount of the moisturiser to my hands and then I gently rub it into my face and my neck. So the last product in my skincare routine is a really really important step, probably the most important step in a skincare routine and that is my SPF and I use the facial moisturising lotion which is SPF 25 and it's by CeraVe. This isn't actually my favourite SPF but it's the only one I have at the moment so I feel like it's better than not putting any on my skin but I'm really looking for one that's like SPF 50. So if you do happen to know any runs of sun cream that are SPF 50 but are made for really dry and eczema prone skin, please let me know in the comments down below because I'm really struggling to find one. So SPF is so important to wear even if you are just sat inside because the UV rays and the sunshine can still get through in through your window and to your curtains, especially if you're sat by a window all day every day, you should definitely be wearing sun cream. So I apply about two pumps of this onto my fingers. And I gently rub it in, making sure that I don't get it into my eyes because it does burn a little bit when you get it in your eyes. 
So that was my entire morning skincare routine. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you do have any skincare suggestions or tips, please leave them in the comments down below because I'd love to receive some. I hope you all have an amazing day and that you're all staying nice and cool. Open your window, get yourself an ice lolly, especially if you're in the UK because we are not prepared for this kind of weather. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.